Hello people of Earth, look who's back with a brand new video. I know it's been like forever, but I'm gonna say hello. Hi Cooney, missed you. I'm back with a new unboxing of this machine, which I know nothing about. And I'll tell you the whole story. Two nights ago, I get like an email from Nespresso with like a 40% off code to use on any machine in their online store and you know me I love my little coffee machines but I'm like you know what they have nothing new but what the heck I'll go peruse their offerings and so I'm looking through and I'm clicking on like the virtual line and lo and behold they have like this new machine like it's not really even advertised on their website like you can't find any information about it it's really weird it's like they just had it in like with the regular virtual line machines like if you click on the different colors you click on like, there's a couple blacks that they have. So I clicked on one black and it was like the regular machine. Then I clicked on another black and it was this one. It's called the Virtual, oh, Virtual Plus. And I was like, what the heck is this? I never heard of this thing. I had no clue they came out with a new Virtual Line machine. So I was like super excited. And anyway, just with the little information they had in their website, what I think is different about this, of course it looks different, different, slightly different look, has this big tank here. I think it's like... Um, you can place it on each side of the machine, so it makes it more convenient when you have limited counter space. But aside from like the slightly different design of the machine, apparently they're coming out with like super duper size coffee drink. It does, look at this, wait, let me put this, I got this on a tripod, I never use a tripod, but okay, check this out people. Okay, it does, that's the normal espresso. It's always made in espresso. It has, they have like four espresso capsules. And then that's the regular coffee that it makes, the seven point, oh, let's say, let's round up. We'll say eight ounces. Okay, so it's got the espresso and the regular coffee and ta-da, oh my God, look at that. 14 ounces. So apparently they have a new line of like coffee pods for the virtual line machine that are designed to do 14 ounces. So. I'm like, well, that's pretty cool. But like I said, there was like no information on the website. I clicked on like all the coffee capsules you can buy for the virtual line machine thinking they'd have like a new line for the 14 ounces, but there's nothing on their website yet. So I don't know. It's really weird to me that they have this machine that brews 14 ounces, but you can't buy any capsules that are designed to be brewed at 14 ounces yet. So I'm hoping that there's some in here because it comes with a 12 capsule a uh, little, yep. well, it comes with 12 capsules, so I'm hoping one of them will be for the big-ass size 14 ounces. We'll see. So let me put down this tripod. Oh, there's, like, glare here. That's annoying. It's from the light. Look at that. That's annoying. Okay. So, people, here we go. I got the Virtual Line. Oh, God, I'm calling it the wrong thing. It's Virtual Plus. So confused. So I got the Virtual Plus in Piano Black. And I went with a deluxe version. That says right there, deluxe version, which I don't really know how it's different than a regular version, except that this is like 20 bucks more. I think the regular one was 199. This was like 220. So I'm thinking like the deluxe is that it comes to like fancy schmancy chrome here and there's chrome here. It looks fancy schmancy and like a bigger water tank. I'm thinking that's really it. So anyway, we'll find out. So here we go. Here's the front of the box. Lovely, lovely. Um, centrifusion technology, all the virtual line machines do that. The thing just spins around and round and round like a top. The coffee capsule does while it's brewing. Here's the side. Oh, included. It says right there, 12. Coffee, espresso. oh, Alto. Here, oh, it says coming soon. There we go, people. So it looks like there's two capsules for the Alto line, which is going to be the capsules that make 14 ounces. But it says coming soon. Oh, they put a sticker on here. I guess, I guess these um, capsules weren't made quick enough because apparently they're like, oops, we, we advertise Alto capsules on the box, but they're not available yet. So they put this sticker over it. There's a sticker here that says coming soon. I could peel it off. But anyway, they stuck that on there. So who knows when they're coming out? And who even knows if there's any Alto capsules in here? We'll find out. It'd be a little bit disappointing if there aren't, because I was looking forward to making a big old 14 ounce thing of coffee. Here's the other side of the box. And advertising the 14 ounce drink and the regular coffee. 
And then over here are the espresso. And what's on this side of the box? Ooh, more picks. Yeah, two capsule sizes. Oh, I'm sorry, people, here we go. So apparently like the, the Alto capsule is going to be the same size as the regular coffee capsule because it says there's only two capsule sizes. So I'm wondering like if they're going to pack more coffee into the capsule. I don't know. Just so you can, you know, have a delicious 14 ounce drink because I don't, I couldn't imagine they would take like a regular coffee capsule and just say, you know what, we'll just like run 14 ounces of water through it and call it a day because I don't think that would taste good. So they must be doing something different in terms of like how they're grinding the coffee or how much coffee they're putting into those new Alto capsules, but we'll find out later. Blend specific brewing and yeah, it has a barcode on the, on the capsules and it like spins around and it like scans the barcode so it knows exactly like I guess what the water temperature should be, how fast or how slow the capsule should rotate while it's brewing, all that crazy stuff. It's like Tassimo. Tassimo has a barcode. And that's it. So, ooh, let's see the bottom. I know some of you guys love the bottom. I know I like a good bottom. Actually, I have a good bottom, but that, nothing here, people. Just, just UPC code. Boring. And here's for all you top guys. I like a good top, actually. That's my favorite, a good top. But nothing here. A little handle, cute handle. And just says Virtual Plus. Same stuff you find on the side here. So anyway, people, here we go. The grand unveiling of the new Virtual Plus. Oh, look, if we just do this, this is easy. I like this. Pull that down, ta-dum. I'll pull this down, ta-dum. Okay, uh, oh, oh, I have to cut. I got my knife, I'm cutting, people, here we go. Cut that. Oh, here we go. Here comes the flap, I'm excited. So, let me do it this way. So, here we go, people. Opening the flap. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Oh, here we go. God, I got scared for a second. I thought something was gonna break. Welcome, Nespresso. What's in here? Oh, how to set up your machine. Signing up with Nespresso. I love Nespresso. They ship really quick. I think now they drop their um, shipping fee. Well, not drop. I think if you order $50 or more, it's like free one to four day shipping. And then I think it's like $7 for one to two day shipping, which is a really good deal. I mean, you get this, these capsules super fast. Um, are they going to mention... Um, okay, it just mentions briefly, like, there's, well, there's more than two espresso capsules. They offer four. But it says it makes espresso and coffee. Limited edition. Yeah, they come out with limited edition. They call them Grand Cru. It sounds fancy-schmancy. just coffee, people. They come out with limited edition coffees all the time, which is why I love Nespresso, because they're always coming out with new stuff, like new coffees. I like my Starbucks Verismo machine, but I swear to God, they haven't come out with anything new. It's really disappointing. It doesn't mention anything about the Alto. Oh, yeah, this is really weird. I'm not sure. Like, they only mention with the coffee that it only does, like, 7.7 .7 ounce. It doesn't mention anything about the 14 ounce, so... I don't know why, they just... Maybe, like, that 14 ounce was, like, an afterthought. They're like, oh, let's make a big capsule or something. Differentiate this machine from the other virtual line machines. I don't know, but there's no information here about the 14 ounce. That's kind of weird. Okay. And what's this? Oh, it's just a regular user manual, people. Words, words, and more words. Oh, they have like picks. They do, ooh, picks. I like picks. There we go. Ooh, that looks cool. Picks. Okay. That's it there. Please, nothing fall out. Oh, how? Oh, wait. Let's do this. Okay. Let's do coffee capsules. I'm excited here. Let's see what's in this. Okay. Oh, they're good from... They. Oh, wow, that's a long time ago. Looks like... Wait, how do I read this? I'm so confused by these European dates. They're really fucking confusing here. So, I think that means the 5th day of October 2016 is when these capsules were made, and they're good until July 31st of 2017. Okay. Well, October, that's like a long time ago. People, it's already end of February. So let me slide that in there. Gentle, gentle. Here we go. 
Oh, screw it. Let's do that. Here we go. Ta da! It's like Christmas. Unwrapping. Unwrapping. Oh, please let there be 14 ounce capsules in here. I'll be so happy. Although I doubt it if they're from October. I doubt they, they have any in here, which is going to be super disappointing. It's like a box of chocolates. You always get this weird thing in a box of chocolates, like this corrugated stuff. Here we go, people. Ta-da! Okay, I'm looking quickly. And yeah, there's like no Alto capsules. Oh, they look pretty though. I love the colors. But it just has like your regular like Intenso, which is good. It's like their, their darkest dark roast coffee. It's pretty yummy. And then the Stormio, which I think is my favorite. It's a dark roast too. It's really scrummy and yummy-licious. I love it. Odazio, and then Molazio. Isn't that our new first lady's name, Molazio Trump? I don't know. I think so. And then we have a Lavazio, like lighter roast. This is good. Giorno. It's a light roast. It's yummy. It's like medium roast. Well, medium light. And then, wait a minute. This isn't this. This color doesn't look like Soleo. This looks like Venezio. Yeah, vanilla. I knew it. I know my Nespresso capsules by color. I'm so good. That's not what it says. It says that's supposed to be the Soleo, which is it like their lightest roast. Well, I'm glad. It's not my favorite anyway. But they put the um, vanilla in there instead. Weird. See, it says, it says Venazio. Venizio. Isn't that a TV ma maker? I saw Venizio Televisions. I've seen them at Best Buy. And, oh wait, I'm so con, this thing is all messed up. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, okay, it's showing 16. Oh, I guess it's like what's all available on their website, 16, 12 coffees and four espressos. Oh, okay, so I'm confused. What, what else is new? So that's not supposed to be Soleil. I guess it's just vanilla, the Venizio. Here we have, what is this? The decaffeinado, that's a really good decaf. And then they have all four of their, I'm sorry, I have this angled improperly. You can't, you can't see people, here we go. And all four of their espressos, which are a little bit smaller. Ah, I'm gonna drop it, smaller capsule. Okay, disappointing, no Alto. What a letdown. Okay, well here we go. Get this machine out of here. Watch me drop it. Oh my god, wait. It's, oh, oh, it comes apart like this. Oh. Okay, oh, we go like this. We go down. We're going down, people. I'm going down. Go down like that. And... Okay, whew, we got that done without anything breaking and falling. Okay, so, I think I could, oh, well, I don't know, we're just going to, like, lift this up. Let's get this out of here. This is, there's something in here, people. There's something stuck in here. Ooh, it's shiny. Look at that. It's like, oh, it's perfect, like, for putting makeup on, little mirror. So, here's our lovely, they always make good drip trays. Always metal, metallic. Put that aside. And let's get this off of here. Very shiny black. Okay. Let me just push this box out of the way. I think it's totally empty. There's like nothing in here. Bye box, thank you. Throw that down on the floor. And here we go, people. There is the machine. Push it back. Push it, push it real good. Bump, 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 bump. Okay. So there's a the machine. Oh, we got. Oh, that feels like plastic. Chrome, pl chrome plated plastic. We got there. I think I don't even know how to. Oh, oh God, I'm afraid. I can't even open this thing. Do you push? Oh well. I don't even know how to open it. So here, I'm sure this just comes off. Here's the water tank with some lovely blue stuff all over it. Peel that off. I think this is like. Well, 1.8 liters, it said. I don't know what that is in, like, ounces. I don't know why they use liters. I mean, liters is so confusing. 
I like ounces. So I don't know what 1.8 liters is. Is that like five gallons? I don't know. But it's a de decent size water tank. And the front of the machine. And I think we just put the drip tray. I'm so confused. I'm trying to get this. Okay, I think it goes like that. Oh, that's my serial number, people. Don't look at my serial number. Okay, so this goes in there. It's got four levels for the drip tray. I'm sorry, I don't like using this tripod. So we got four levels. If it sits in there. Okay, good. Yeah, so that's cool. Got lots of options for different cup sizes. Lovely jubbly. And if you have like a super huge cup, you just take this off and like put your cup there. So we'll just put that there. Oh. Okay. Oh wait though, you can see my serial number. I don't want, I don't know why I'm like, I just don't want people to like have my serial number. I don't know. There we go. Okay. So, and then the other side of the machine here. Um, what is this? Oh, that's where the used capsules go in the back. On the other virtual line machines, they go like on the side. They'll come out the side into this little catch bin. But here they go in the back. That's cool. And it's just, it's not opaque, it's just black plastic. Like so, and I think this, if I'm, if I read correctly on the site, oh, see this, this thing like rotates. So you can have your water tank in the back. Oh, or just on one side, it doesn't go to both sides. Oh, it does. Ah! Oh, it does, that's really cool. So you have multiple options, people, for where you want to put your drip tray. Whatever floats your boat. I'm putting it on the side here. Okay, so that's that. Confusing. Get in there. Oh, there we go. And... It looks cool. I mean, it's very shiny, shiny black. I think it's piano black, they call it. I don't play piano. So... Okay, and then... Oh, this tripod is annoying. Got the button here to turn it on. I just don't know how to open it. Can you believe it? I mean, I have a... Oh, wait, no. I guess I should read the manual, but I think it would be, like, easy to open. Oh my god, I can't even open this thing. That's weird. Maybe to plug it in or something. I think that's probably what you have to do. But let me compare it while I'm here. Two, here's the original virtual line machine that came out a couple years ago. I got this from Costco. They had the good bundle. It was like, you get the machine, and it's a really cool color. I like it. It's like a, a matte gray or something. It's really neat looking. And you get it like with the Arochino, which is my favorite milk frother in the world, and like coffee capsules and like a $33 store credit for an espresso. It was like a... $180 or something. I think they still have it at Costco. I saw it there a couple days ago. I got this like a year ago or something. I like it. But anyway, that's the original version of the Virtual Line compared to the Virtual Plus. It's a bit taller. But you can, you know, put the water tank on each side of the machine or in the back. So that's pretty neat. So I think at this point, people, I shall be back. What I'm going to do is... I know how these machines work. You have to like clean you know, clean the water tank, put water in, turn the machine on, and like do like a cleansing brew, and it takes like five minutes. It just sucks water into the tank for the first, no, there's no tank inside. I think it's a thermal block, so it heats the water on the fly. There's no tank in here. But it's just like, um, you know, a cleansing process that they recommend doing before you use your machine for the first time. So I'm going to do that without the camera, because it's gonna be kind of boring. And then I'll be back and I'll make a coffee, and I'll take the temperature to the coffee. Okay, people, that's it for now. I'll be right back. Okay, people, I'm back. So I did my little, like, cleansing brew that you're supposed to do when you get a new Nespresso machine. It took about five minutes, but it's all done. And then I put more water in the tank. This is a big-ass tank. It's fabulous. Nice big tank. And like I said before, I could see it's not, like, that much bigger than the Virtual Line or the original machine. So that's cool, and plus the fact that you can like rotate the water tank in the back, move it from side to side, or put it right behind the tank. It makes it super convenient like to 
find room for this new Nespresso machine on your countertop. Anyway, what I thought was cool, oh see this is like lights up green when it's ready to go, but the really cool thing is, okay so during my unboxing I'm like, I can't open this thing, I don't know how to open the lid, you know, it was so weird, I thought it would just like pop up or something, and I'm like well, maybe I have to plug it in. Well, yeah, you have to plug it in because people check out this feature. This is like the coolest thing. It's like totally worth getting this machine just for this feature, I think. Watch this. Here we go. Here's how you open it. You just like press up. Oh my God, it does it on its own like a garage door. Isn't that super neat? I love it. Let's do that again. Down. Up. That is sickening. It's so fabulous. I love it. Like I showed you before, you got the drip tray, put it in, you have one, you have four slots you can put it in, people. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's just get to it because I need a coffee. So I'm using my big old like Starbucks 10 ounce cup. I think it's 12 ounce, I don't remember. Maybe it's 12 ounce. And I'm just going to make one of my favorites. This is Stormio. Stormio, where are you? There you can sort of see, there, Stormio. It's like their second most intense coffee. It came out when the machine first came out. So they've had this one forever. And it's really good. It's a nice dark roast. It's like my favorite. So here we go, people. This is going to be exciting. The first brew on the new Virtual Plus. Oh, before I like make this coffee, I have to say, I don't really understand what the point of the machine is, though. Because looking in the literature, like the manual, it doesn't say like it's specifically designed to brew that new 14 ounce capsule. So I don't know, I mean, it's called the Virtual Plus. I don't know, the plus means it does something extra. Does it like exclusively brew that bigger size capsule or is that new bigger size capsule going to be able to be brewed on even like the original machine? I have no clue. And it doesn't tell you anything on the website nor like in the manual or the literature that came with the machine. It doesn't say anything about that. So I don't know, people, if you have to get this machine to be able to brew that big size capsule or not. I don't know. We'll find out because those capsules are coming soon. Like I said, there wasn't one included in the sample pack, which was disappointing to say the least. But anyway, here we go. Going to make the Stormy out. So just go. Oh, that is so cool. I love it. Oh, look at, look into the cavity. Here we go. I think we just like put that there and then Touch this. Oh, cool. That is so neat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we just touch this button here. Press in. And away we go. See, it's like swirling around. The green goes around and around when it's brewing. I guess that's supposed to like mimic what the capsule's doing because it's spinning around inside, inside there. Oh, here we go, people. Here it comes. It's spinning, it's doing something. I hear it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's streaming out. That's really neat. Neato you know me, people. I'm taking the temperature. What's the temperature in here? 71. It's a warm day in Columbus. But that looks really neat. I swear that looks better. It looks creamier. Well, not creamier. I don't know how to describe it. Like frothier, like a really nice froth. More so than like in the other machines that I have. More so than like in this model. Anyway, let's just take the temperature. Let's get right to it. I'm curious to see if it's gonna be any hotter. Cause I know this coffee probably gets up to like 174 on the other machine. So I, I'm sure it's probably gonna be the same, who knows. But that'd be great if it did it like even hotter. And with these virtual line capsules, I've noticed like a lot of them, like they'll start out at a lower temp and then you ramp up slowly to like a high temp. So it's getting there, sort of. It's also hard to take the temp because all that froth is in the way. It's sort of weird. Oh, 170, there you go. Go on espresso. Oh God, 171, you go baby, work it. It's a bit quieter actually. Oh, it's done. That was fast. Okay, the body of the coffee is like 157. Oh, 167, that's not bad. 168, oh, you go. So you get a decent 
a decent temperature from the coffee. It's, I mean, it's not like you can gulp it down all at once because it's cold. It's not cold, but it's not like super duper hot. I think it's just perfect, really. And I guess every capsule is designed for a specific temperature. So like I said, this one normally gets up to like to 174. I mean, I've taken a temp of it before when I've made it. So anyway, here we go. So yeah. there's the froth. Yummy. I'm putting my finger in it, people. I'm being naughty. Oh, that's hot. Mm, I'm licking it all up. Mmm. So, it does look like a nice cup of coffee, doesn't it? Here we go. Let's taste it. Mmm. Maybe it's my imagination, but it tastes richer to me. I don't know if that's possible. But it does taste really good. Like I said, I love Stormy Out. I like all their coffees for the most part. But this is, in particular, this is my favorite because I love dark roast and this is so good. I need some more. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now that we're done, it's done brewing. The capsule needs to go bye-bye. It needs to go down. I'm sorry, people. I know my handling skills aren't the greatest. This camera, this new one, is like super big. I can't grasp it. It's like a two-hander. It's really hard to like hold on to it with one hand. I'm trying, though. Anyway, so the capsule needs to go bye-bye because the, the capsule will get ejected into the little catch bin back here. I think it holds like 10 capsules. So here we go. Let's see how this works. Okay, capsule, you're going to go bye-bye. Here we go. I think I just do this. There it goes. It fell down. That is so cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love that feature. It's like my favorite ever on a machine. That's so neat. So that's it, people. That's the new Virtual Plus machine from Nespresso. So I don't know too much about it. It's like super new and there's not much literature available about it. So we'll see how it works in the future with those new 14-ounce um, capsules. I'm really curious to try those. But anyway, I've been happy with it. My first coffee made on it tastes really good. And it looks cute. Not too big, not too small, just right. Just like Goldilocks said. Okay, people, that's it. That's the Virtual Plus machine from Nespresso. Thanks for watching my video. I love all of you.